the Catholic Church and its complicity in slavery. In 1452, Pope Nicholas V made a papal bull called Dom Devices, D-U-M-D-I-V-E-R-S-A-S, given authority of Europe to enslave, to colonize and enslave Africa, Asia, and the Americas. Afonso, King Afonso of Portugal, asked for the authority to enslave and colonize Africans, Asians, in the Americas. And it's interesting that after five to five dominating slave holding country in Europe, they were all Catholic Catholic countries. You had Portugal, Spain, England, France, and the Netherlands. They were all Catholic country. The religion is part of the military. It's both the same. That's why European country acts to chase for their blessing. Because as the Bible said, you can break into a strong man's house unless you are first buying that strong man. And then you could break into his house. Now that is not a physical binding, but a spiritual binding. They believe you have to bind us before you could conquer us. And that's what binds us, that the, the church, the Catholic Church, bind us. Once our spirits are bind, it's easy to take over the physical. Then the military come to do the physical work. And that's what it is. Now, Brazil is suffering from the plague of the uh, COVID-19, and they will continue to suffer until they tear down that fake idol called Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro that have to be torn down and smashed to pieces, even if a strong wind will come along and knock it down. They are still enslaving black people. They're enslaving Africans, and they have Africans turn against themselves, speaking that which they know not of. But they cannot break into a strong man's house unless they first bind that, that man. And we were strong people, but we were bound spiritually by the Christian and then by the Muslims. And that spirit is broken now. The church isn't just another part of the military ring. It will bind us spiritually. And then enslaved us physically. So we have to wake up, throw off the shackle of the spiritual mind. It's no, not effective anymore. So we are throwing that off. We have conquered that. And you have overcome by the truth that has set us free. And don't go more more into that spiritual enslavement. When we are set free, it's free indeed.